As you grow older, the need for speed increases, especially if you are a petrol head. Now you come into some money, standing on your own two feet. Now you need something to quench your thirst of wanting a fast hoon machine, but something which also gets you to the office sedately. The M5 is your first option, but you just got into money. You are not Ambani yet. You look around a bit more. Oh damn, the new VRS is coming out. But with that price tag, hell no. That's where this comes in. The Polo GTI. The front fascia of the GTI was truly special in 2017. It got a few red highlights here and there and these really special headlights. The sad part is in 2020, every VW Polo comes with this bumper. But back then, the Polos had these ugly looking bumpers. But these bumpers are the ones to have even if you have a Polo now. The other thing I want to talk about is the honeycomb grille which comes in the Polo today as well but it's not as special and the GTI badging. Beneath that there's a red strip that goes across headlight to headlight which makes it truly special. The side profile is where this car truly shines. Here is where you notice the small GTI badge but it's got upsized tires and this long door that you can see here. This is what makes the GTI special, it's a three door. The rear of the VW GTI is also quite special in my opinion. It's got subtle touches that make it so special. It's got this subtle diffuser here, you can see the two tips and this subtle black little spoiler as well. This is where the GTI actually shined the most in my opinion. It gets these really nice uh, fabric seats that even the first Polo GTI ever in history got. It's got this beautiful red stitched flat bottom GTI steering wheels and my favorite paddles. Apart from that, it's you know basically a VW product. Everything is where you expect it to be. It's got a really nice infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, you name it, it's got it. And I know you must be cursing me for boring you with these things and not doing what I'm actually supposed to be doing with this car. So the best part about this VW GTI is that it has D2 coilovers and it has a very nice exhaust system. It's also running a stage two map. That means if a stock GTI pulls up next to me, have fun watching my taillights. I really like the ride of this car, especially the seats. They hug you into place and make sure that you're not going to falter anywhere. It's also got a nice center armrest. As I mentioned, the infotainment is VW. Nothing wrong with it. Everything where you expect it to be. The flat bottom steering wheel, also a lot of fun. But the most fun is when I do this. Yes, it's also got a blow off. So, little things like this really enhance the character of a car. And I really think this is one of the best value for money cars that you can buy right now. The only complaint I have with people is comparing this car to the Mini Cooper. You cannot compare this car to a Mini Cooper because a Mini Cooper is 25 lakh rupees more. It makes absolutely no sense. This car is more sedate, it does not catch any eyeballs, it's only the enthusiasts who know what this car is. They're the only ones who will appreciate it. Don't expect chicks to come up to you and be like, oh, hot car. No, it's going to be 10 guys like me who are going to be asking you what map you're running. So this beast, uh, as I mentioned, is on a stage two setup. It's pushing almost 250 horsepower. And I, I'm not sure about the talk figures, but they are a lot. Basically, they are a lot. So, what I'm trying to say is that the 1.8 TSI motor, everybody knows this motor. It's been around for a very long time. And it's very responsive in this car. The one thing that makes this car a lot of fun to drive are the paddles. The paddles are the charm. You can retrofit them on the GT as well, but I don't know how responsive they are. The flat body steering wheel, everything feels at home in this car. And the dials are also very racy if that makes sense.
In conclusion, I would like to say that if you're looking for a sleeper car, you want to go to the office sedately, you don't want to hurt anybody, but you want those pops and bangs, there is no better car which is more value for money than this. A VRS 230 or 245 is going to cost you much, much more than this. And in my opinion, this is a sweet little package. It's got the thrill. You can put it into drive and not worry about anything. It's just the perfect package for under 20 lakhs. But that is if you find one for under 20 lakhs. I've seen the prices on these cars and they're ridiculous. And I'll leave you on that note. This is Hamza from The Drivers Hub, signing off.